We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. So today we're here with Sean Campion, my dear friend, and he's a graphic design student here in LSD. How are you, Sean? I'm good. Good. Very good. Yeah, so um, I'm here today anyway, so like, I want to talk to you about your practice. So give it a rundown for yourself. Okay, basically, this is my space in college. Um, I like to have all of my stuff on the walls so that I can just look up my computer and get some inspiration of where I was when I started the project and like try to keep the vision going, get what I want out of it at the end. Um, basically, yeah, so I have like. Instead of having it on the computer, I can just like have it in front of me and like have the stuff that I want to portray, basically. Um, lots of sticky notes around, because I like to stick things up like these, or like for this monoprint that I did yesterday. Back of my making zine. This. Very nice. Um, which I got help from by the man behind the camera and other print students. And basically I had to do, I did like run through to put like on just on InDesign so that I could see how it would look in the end. And just use that. Yeah, a lot of scanning in, a lot of like I try my best to bring in like fine art practice into my design stuff because just fine design can be quite boring when I'm constantly looking at a computer just for myself. It's not really for anyone else, just so I don't get bogged down in it on a screen screen. Um, Um, like, who's your like huge inspiration as an artist? Who would you, who's your main kind of guy? My biggest inspiration is Andy Warhol. I loved him since I was like, for as long as I can remember, my favorite artist. Um, and that's kind of where I get the inspiration for mixing fine art with design, because he was very interested in like design culture, but also art culture, and like he really amalgamated the two very well. So yeah, bleach my hair, make it messy, try look ugly, so I can look like waxy and you are all. There's pictures of them everywhere because that's kind of what, this is what I'm doing this project on at the moment is and you're all setting up an interview magazine in 1969. Um, so he's obviously going to impact this project anyways, but kind of impacts everything I do. Who would you like say find an inspiration for your fashion sense? Is it Andy as well? Um, no, not really Andy. He wore lots of suits and was very respectful looking back in silver wigs. Um, I kind of just get it from subcultures, past and present, um, time, like eras of fashion, like the 90s or the early 2000s and the 80s. I, I, my goal is to not look the same every day that I come into college or every day that I'm just doing anything. I want to try and look a different person and portray it in the vibe. And uh, would you say social media has a big part in your, like, say, what focuses you for your work or, say, fashion sense? Social media is a big thing. I think it's a big thing for everyone, really. Like, <clears throat> especially in graphic design, like, it's kind of part of our course. Like, sort of, like, there's a lot of talk about social media and, like, its use. For advertising and it's used like companies will have um, like Instagram accounts now and like magazines will have Instagram accounts that you can kind of look at their online magazine through Instagram sort of um, yeah and then obviously for fine artists as well I think it's such a big like help for them because they can like really get their name out there like it's obviously very hard for fine artists to um, get their name known um, so social media is great for that. And yeah, I use it a lot. I have like three accounts. At <laughs> um, LSD Fit. <laughs> Plug that shit. Um, yeah, LSD Fit. Me and my friends set up this Instagram this year, um, focusing on the fashion at LSD. Because everyone will be looking so cool all the time. I want to document them and like document people and like who they are um, and what they wear. And yeah, we do that on the daily. So you should all give that a follow. Um, yeah, and I'm also hoping to bring that into my FYP in the second semester, so we'll do like a, some sort of a catalogue or like a, an annual of like LSD fits throughout the year. Hopefully that would, that would 
be really cool, I think. Um, so yeah, everything kind of feeds into everything else for me. Like I try to mix as much as I can, play with as much things as possible, experiment as much as possible while I'm in college, because well, that's when I get to do that. And then at college, there's lemon curd stuck to my thigh. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, do you have any final say, like any anything else you want to let us know? Um, <laughs> and scene! <laughs> oh, I actually, I actually wasn't recording. Are you serious? I just improv for no fucking reason. Yeah, were you ever recording? No, never. The no. whole time! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> <laughs>